Yeah, just uh, just went sharp one of those days and um, yeah, elevated, and uh, which elevated the secondary. Didn't look like he had quite the depth on the on the breaking ball either. It was more side to side. A um, little bit of just standing up without getting his chest out front to finish some of those pitches and um, happened fast. But um, they kept taking advantage when he was uh, making mistakes in the top of the zone. What do you hope that he takes away from, from this start? I know you've talked about the learning opportunities there are for some of these young guys. Um, is that on? Is that here today for him? As always, um, we'll have to go through and sit back down with them as you go through pitch by pitch. Um, pitch selection is always going to be part of the question. You know, what what was your thought process here? What did you see? What did the hitter tell you by their previous swing? And then um, let's talk about the execution. Let's talk about um, let's talk even things like the running game. Uh, a couple opportunities where you know trying to fight to get back into account and give up a base or a really good jump. And those sort of things just uh, are, are items that need to be worked on. Lynn? Hey, Mike, with, uh, with Hap, uh, I know he, you guys had um, seen him pretty well in the past, uh, obviously with a different club. Did you feel like the, the deficit had a little bit to do with just maybe putting extra pressure on you offensively? It could. I mean, it's not easy to ever come back from. Uh, it hasn't been too too much of an effect on our team to where we, uh, we normally just are able to keep putting together good at-bats. But the guys also um, would be the first to tell you that he was making better pitches today. And you look at the misses that he had, they were just off, and he didn't panic and come back to the middle of the plate. He incrementally came back onto the edges and and uh, didn't give uh, a lot of didn't get a lot of pitches to hit. I mean, that's we've seen that a couple of times now, a couple of days in a row, and um, not uh, capitalizing on, on the very few opportunities that we did have. How uh, how important did you feel like those uh, the innings you were able to get from Irv, just with you know Bubich going as short as he did? Man, the whole pen. I mean, you're talking seven and two thirds. We to give up three hits, uh, one walk. I mean, that's incredible, especially that a few of these guys. Are you know, they're feeling the, the workload and um, trying to push Chris as far as we can and let him eat some of that up. But it just got to the point where we had to had to rescue him, and they did that. The bullpen did a fantastic job, Irv, coming in being very efficient to be able to eat up three, but the rest of the guys um, coming in and uh, doing a really good job. And Salvi, I know we, we ask all the time, but I mean, just the, the, the amount of production, just the, the type of season he's having this year, I mean, to get to 30, um, just what what can you say about just uh, how productive he's been? 30 is a big number for anybody in any position. And um, we all understand the, the demands of, of that position in particular and how he goes about playing that position. And for him to to have the, the kind of season that he's had so far with still a lot of time left um, just puts him in a very special category.